everyone. Here is Selena here at Amore Fabrics. I'm here back with another junk in my trunk items that are available in my shop. These are vintage, um, oh my gosh, fabrics, quilted fabric pieces that I got at an estate sale um, dash auction there in Shipshawana up there north in Indiana. <clears throat> and I made them into five different packs and each one has a gift with purchase, which is right here. And I'm gonna go over what the gift is here in a minute. These packs are absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna take my time showing you each pack. Um, they are already in the shop. There you'll see what you see in each pack is what you're getting. They'll have their very own listing. So you can go through that listing and see exactly what you are getting. Down below is everything you need to know. If you are new here, don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe. This is a crafty channel that is also an Etsy shop. I do sell Etsy uh, vintage items in my Etsy shop and that is what I'm showing you today. And I always follow uh, and go places and grab these items for you guys. Um, especially I do a lot of the shopping for people who are looking for certain items and many people who have their items on their list, they've already got their pack. So these ones here are up for grabs. So what I'm going to do is down below is the direct link for those who need to know how to get these in the Etsy shop. Just click on that link. They're already in the shop. Find what you're looking for. Um, I do have a video attached to each and every one of these packs as well so you can kind of get up a closer look um, in the listings as well. These packs are adorable. I was for a short bit thinking about keeping them for myself because I am a, I'm a fabric lover but in reality I know with how busy I am I will never get the time unless I am truly retired because I will not be retiring anytime soon because I love what I do but maybe one day and I get my hands on this lovely stuff all the time but this here is priceless so I can't wait to show you I'm gonna move these things aside and then I'm gonna show you the gift with purchase and then I'm gonna go through each and every one of these packs so stay tuned if you want to see each pack and see what exactly you want to get but if you're in a hurry you want to grab one before they're gone because they do go fast down below is a direct link. Go on over there, grab it, and then maybe watch the video later. But I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Just wait to see what's all in this pile. The most gorgeous little stuff ever. And like I said, where I shop was Amish country. So it was just absolutely gorgeous pieces that were handmade. And these pieces are definitely 50s, 40s, 50s, maybe 60s. I'm thinking 40s, 50s prints and they're 100% vintage. They're just, oh my gosh, gorgeous. So I can't wait to show you that. But the gift with purchase is a 25 pack of these guys. I know they're kind of clustered in my hand, but they are cute little miniature teeny weeny weeny <laughs> handmade. Um, they were part of um, doily uh, like quilts. And these were the leftover pieces and I just kept them and I thought, gosh, those would be a great piece. They're nearly an inch and a quarter. And I thought these would be great for your clusters or your junk journaling, but 25 pack free with your purchase today. All right, guys, this one here is a green pack, but look how lovely. That hand stitch work and a cute little bonnet girl. And this piece here measures, oh my, I had to get a ruler that's not that big. We are 11 and a half by, let me grab my other one, 11 and a half by 14. But she is just too darling. Even if you make them in her into a pillow, I don't know. Maybe you can do a smaller cut off her feet to do a journal cover. I don't know. But wait till you see these pieces here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got so many packs to go through, so I better just get going. Um, but each piece looks like they started a quilt or something. I kept that piece for you guys. But look at that little tiny square quilt block. Each one of those quilt blocks, you can see the squares are about a one and a half by one and a half inch squares. Could you imagine? Oh my gosh, so it's probably a two inch, two inch squares they start off and then made it into a one and a half by one and a half. But this uh, block is about four and a half by four and a half. Gorgeous. And I'm just going to pile them on my hand. What you see here is coming with this one here. And I think I have two greens. So you can kind of see but like I said, you won't be too like confused because like I said, if you go to the listing down below, Again, this one has the white on the, like there. And I imagine you could quilt this if you want to. Put the next piece along with the next piece. But look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to put it right up there. This one has the white behind too. So that's one, two, three, four. You can make a little baby quilt with this. Five. 
because there's that white one on the side too. Six, seven, looks like seven quilt blocks that come with this. Gorgeous with this. Just wait. Oh my gosh, these prints. So I don't know what they were making, if they were making a flower type quilt or what, um, but look at, just you can make a flower out of them if you really wanted to, if you kept going um, like this into a flower mode, if you know what I mean, or not, or just use the fabric pieces the way you want, but I just wanted to show you the prints, totally retro, Maybe I should go this way and <laughs> put them in my hand for you. Oh my God, just beautiful cotton pieces. And a great Friday. So there's one, there's two, three, there's a red, four, five, six, looks like there's two here, seven, eight, there's two here, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14 of those beautiful vintage fabric pieces to go with her. So that is that pack. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. So at least you know I had the equal amount of fabric pieces in each. So now you know how much you're getting in each. So that is that pack. Let me put her back nicely back together. I have an issue with having things packed a certain way. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one, but I think opening up your package is important and getting what you see is important um, and it looking good, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but this one is new. So that is that pack, and like I said, you're going to be getting in this pack one, i got to seal these packs so you guys are going to seal them with me, so you're going to get a 25 pack of these um, in each, so that's that pack. Which I shouldn't see it because I don't know if I did a photo shoot for the listing yet. So there's that one. I'll show you the second. Let's do a pink one. Do the pink one next. I think it's the one of these pink ones. The bottom has a little edging on it. Wait, you see. So I made sure when I picked these out, I picked out colors that go well with her. Like I did a lot of pinks and blues with this one. You'll see. Wait to see her dress. Oh my gosh. Isn't she just darling? Oh my gosh, look at that dress, that bonnet, and a cute little flower. So this one, and then I'll show you the pieces that go with her. Maybe I'll go to the side so you can kind of see her and see why I picked these prints. There you go. Look at the purple. But geez, I mean, the more, every pack you get, like you said, you get those doilies, those little tiny doilies with each. So the more packs you get, the more you get. And each, like I said, each pack, the prints of these fabrics are all different. So what a variety you will get. Just absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? And I forgot how much. My paper's over there. But uh, I've been trying to make these packs reasonably priced for you guys. So this is pack two. And I need to get going with uh, my speed here. You can kind of see what I got. I'm not going to open them all up for you. But it looks like I, I left the piece. Some of them are not exactly with the pieces attached, but I'm going to show you what I got. Little fuzzies and strings are free. They're my gift to you. <laughs> All right, we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. But don't you think these are just absolutely gorgeous? I love giving a gift with purchase. And definitely, I could totally see making a baby doll quilt and maybe make that a pillow. I don't know. Just gorgeous. Of course, some have some staining, which these are crazy vintage, guys, so not everything is going to be perfect. Like, example, at the way bottom, you see a little darkness, whatever. I call it, I call it, um, beautiful. <laughs> I think anything like that is just absolutely beautiful. It's just an extra special touch of the age that it is. I just love anything vintage when it comes to fabrics. There you go. Let's put the doilies in there. So there's that one. All right, let's try a blue one. Blue is gorgeous as well. We do see her. Again, I tried matching the colors to go with each. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And if you guys get, I think I have five sets right now. If you get all five, geez, I imagine you guys can make some kind of special quilt 
or gosh, a lot of beautiful vintage pieces for whatever your crafty project is. She is cute, isn't she? All right, I need to go this way. All right, my camera, I'm trying to figure it out. All right, let's go with the squares first. Oof. Here we go. I'll get it up close as possible to you to show you. I'll try to keep her in the picture too. Look at that. See the cute little tiny flowers? Cute bundle, don't you guys agree? Oopsie. There's that one. See the lot of blues I put in there? There's the blues. Here we are. Let's make our way. Show you some of the blues. Go this way. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Totally retro. Beautiful vintage prints. These are not new, guys. Just a friendly reminder. I have two more packs after this to show you. And then that will be today's daily junk in my trunk item. It's already in the shop, guys. Like I said, I only have five left. Um, and they do go fast. Looks like there's two of these. Go one more. There is baby blue. Is she pretty? All right, let's put her back together. I have a feeling it's this pale pink over here has one at the bottom. It's like this blue again, a little aging going on. And again, I'll have the photos in the Etsy shop where you can see all the details on each and every one of these. Let's put him in here. I'm trying to press out the air of these doilies before I package them. This one here. All right, I'm looking to go home with you guys. Let's get this green one. And I think I have the pink one is last. Like I said, not one of these are the same. So the other green one, the dress was different. Can I explain to you? Yeah, so the dress for this one was this kind of green. Dress for this one's that green. And I'll bring it up close to you too. You can see the print. Beautiful green girl bonnet. Let's get these fabrics here for you. All right, I could do this. <laughs> it's like a balancing act. That beautiful yellow, tiny yellows. Isn't that gorgeous? Don't you think it would look good with her? I think it would. Hope my lighting's good. I did most of these videos all in one day. Sometimes it's so hard to get the best lighting. Even though I use LED lights, I try my best to show you guys the coloring of what all is in here. Look at all these prints. Beautiful, my mouth's watering. I'm like, am I sure I wanna let these go? <laughs> am I sure I wanna let these go? I keep reminding myself. Again, some light staining, but it gives it such character. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful, right? Oops, I got an orangey one there. Could use a pressing. And then a white thing there. There is her, and she is absolutely gorgeous. And then we got a baby pink, who is next. Let's get the doilies in there. Thank you guys for being patient as I'm doing this. I'm like a bull in a china shop. I am not like a <laughs> delicate with things as I should. I'm like a go, go, go girl. I just go and get it done. But I have to say, these are absolutely beautiful and I'm sure you guys will agree with me. There's that one. And then the last one is this, I call it baby pink. She is so delicate and pale pink. And she's just gorgeous. You'll see. This is the one I was telling you, the bottom has this. I wonder what they were thinking, which is okay. It's still workable. And in the listing, you'll see that this one is that one, but absolutely gorgeous is her dress and her bonnet. But what were they thinking? Who would and why? Um, no clue. I'm a quilter and I'm still kind of boggled on what that meant when they did that. <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that, but she's just gorgeous. She all looks like all one color, but she's not. If you can see the difference, pale pink, and then she's got the gingham type of Anyways, she's adorable. All right. So we got blues and pinks and purples that will go with her. The pinks looks like it buried at the bottom. See, the pinks are coming. We'll get them. All right. 
All right, sorry about that. My camera timed out <laughs> uh, on my computer. So I'm like, I couldn't even see what I was doing. Look at that beautiful color. I love that one. I absolutely love that. The purple's adorable. My gosh, just adorable. I wonder what they were making. There's so many different kinds of quilts. Look at that. Um, I'm not sure what she, they were gonna make. It'd be nice to know who this really belonged to. Red. We do some of these quilt squares here in a minute. Just gorgeous. So there's that one. Uh, I don't know which direction I'm going in, guys. I apologize. I want you to see the picture. This one. Isn't she so cute? And I thought that complemented it. Look at there. Look at this little cute retro. And then we got a cute blue. Hang on. I'm getting there. That cute one. Again, the fabric is from behind, is behind it too as well. And that came with another. It's like a nice, beautiful linen with a fray edged. So gorgeous. All right, guys, there you guys have it. I'm going to put that on top. Go ahead, run on over there and check them out. I hope there's uh, something there for you left when you go. Um, go ahead and check them out, guys. Uh, you guys have a beautiful day. I'm glad I was able to give you guys some beautiful pieces from Shipshawana that you can use in your crafty project. Again, I'm moving things around like a crazy woman. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day. I hope you enjoy this. Bye.